Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tisa. I'm also known as Set Star 555. It's really lovely to meet everyone here. I'm here right now looking into the earth signs. It's Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. This is December the 12th and December the 13th of 2023. Now, everything that you need to know about me, it is all right down below in the description box. And I do thank you now for all of your love and your support and your donations and all. Thank you so much, okay? Let's go ahead and jump into this energy right here. This is earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Earth signs right here. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. What do we have, please? Now we have here the Hierophant. So this one right here is spiritual wisdom and spiritual knowledge in some way. Okay? Hierophant. Could be a merge. Could be um, a bank. Could be religion. The traditional way of doing something could be significant right here, okay? What is your message here, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, the message is here now. Where's your message, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay. Five of Pentacles right here and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, and so now that somebody's left out in the cold or something like that, they would love to negotiate something here about something, I feel. Okay, um, this could be a tourist or anybody else, okay? Okay, what's the message right here, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Twin Flame card reverse. So this could actually be a Twin Flame for some people right here. The Twin Flame card also talks about ascension or something like that. Maybe somebody here is not having ascension. Okay. Yeah, I feel like somebody's not ascending. Yeah, the how far is religion or tradition, right? And then Twin Flame, I feel right here, is not having ascension because in the upright it is. Right. This also could be somebody left somebody out in the cold here, so type of way. Somebody feels left out. Could be the case here. Okay. What's the message right here, please? I'm not sure if something here is about a bank and a house or something like that. Also could be significant here. Nine of swords. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I feel like, yeah, okay, somebody here doesn't know what to do because they're oblivious. I'm not sure if they was trying to do something to have you to second guess yourself in some way right here. See how this one is scattered? Okay. Okay. Maybe somebody thinks you're going to do something the traditional way. They have you confused here, I feel. Okay, or well, they just can't figure you out. I feel like you have spiritual wisdom and knowledge beyond what they have or something like that could be the case here. This could definitely be a tourist right here. Okay, what's the match right here, please? Okay, yeah, page of swords right here and the eight of pentacles. They know that you're skilled. Somebody's skilled right here. Now, let's see what could be right here. Somebody was consistent and dedicated to doing something in some way. And I just feel like whatever they're doing here is just not matching your energy or they can't figure you out or they just haven't had ascension. Could be the case right here. Twin Flame card. I feel like they can't meet you halfway in some way. All right. Um, the truth here that they left out in the cold in some way or the truth that you left them out in the cold here could be the case. Right? Or the truth about a house or something like that also could be here. Okay? Because the five of pentacles could be like um, eviction or foreclosure or anything like that. So it could be something here about a house in some way. So I'm not sure if you left somebody out in the cold about a house. Okay? What, what else is going on here, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. It's the Earth signs. It's Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgos here. Okay? Yeah, now the pentacles right here. So I feel like somebody can't figure you out. That's one way it could be. 
you know, with the higher front over here and the scattered energy like that, they could be worried that you know about religion or something like that, okay? Or a bank or something here that's traditional in some way here. The higher front is very traditional. It's something like you could count on somebody to do something every year this time or every day this time. That's the higher front is. It's like kind of like I could figure you out because you do this every day this time or every year this time, something like that. You do this, okay? Um, all right, five of pentacles right here in the page of swords. Maybe somebody knows that you left them out in the cold this time. Could be the case. Because the five of pentacles is left out in the cold here. Right? And so maybe they do know that you left them out in the cold in some way here this time. Because you usually do something in a traditional way that you're not doing now, I feel. Somebody feel like you're not doing it here now. Okay. Yeah, judgment. Okay. I just feel like you don't do something like somebody else is doing because maybe you have a higher, you listen to your higher self, you know, you listen to your intuition, maybe that's guiding you in some way, but I just feel like you're not doing something here traditional way. When somebody pauses for me something right here, they know that you're not going to do something right here in a traditional way or something like that, okay? Or they know that you're not doing something the way that you used to do it or the way they want you to do it, something like that, okay? Could be a tourist right here. I said that already. Yeah. So three of pentacles right here. They know you're not planning together with them in some way. Somebody feels left out here. That's what I'm getting right here, Earth sign. Somebody feels left out like you're not planning together with them in some way right here. Okay. Yeah. When somebody pauses and review that, they know that you're not planning together with them in some way right here. So somebody does know that I feel right here. Okay. Yeah. It could be another Earth sign right here. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo could be a husband. This also could represent money. Sometimes the King of Pentacles could be money too, I feel. The King of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles right here. Maybe you're concentrating on money. Could be the case right here. I feel like you're consistent, dedicated, and getting money. So, so that's what you be doing right now for some people right here. Okay. It's like, if I don't get money this way, then I'm going to get money that way. Does that kind of feel? What what other way can I earn some money today? Something like that could be the case. Somebody could be on that, okay? I'm getting my tours, okay? But Capricorn and Virgo is here too, you know? So it could be definitely you or Earth sign. I feel like I feel like you have your mind on your money right now. That's pretty. If I don't get it this way, I'm going to get it that way. Something like that. You even could have switched some money. That also could be the case here. So maybe somebody do know you switched some money. It could be the case somewhere here. Okay, somebody's left out in the cold. They know you switched some money here. Could be the case here. Right? Or I'm getting like um, alarm bells or ringing bells right here about a bank. So maybe you change the bank or something like that. They know you changed the bank or you changed something here. Okay. You can even be consistently dedicated to keep on changing something some way. I feel like you're mutable. Okay. Um, yeah. I see. I feel like somebody thinks that you're supposed to be fixed in some way. You know. I think Taurus is a fixed sign, okay? But some reason I see you changing something right here in some way, okay? So I feel like you're going out of your element in some way here because, you know, Taurus is fixed, right? And Capricorn is cardinal and Virgo is mutable, right? So I'm getting right here, right? Cardinal and fixed. So it could be a Capricorn and um, a Taurus right here, okay? I feel like you're switching up something right here constantly, I feel. That's not what somebody expecting you to do. They wasn't. They was expecting something here to be how it was or you to do one specific thing. And I just feel like they can't catch up with you right here. They can't. As soon as they think they know you, something else changes in some way here, I feel. So, really good. You're switching up on them. Okay, let me see what else here. This is Earth Signs right here. It's Taurus Capricorn of Virgo. Yeah, King of Swords right here. You're very intellectual. I feel like you know when to switch something here. All right. Um, yeah. Or whoever you're speaking to right here, right? I feel whether that's a twin, that, whether this is a um, spiritual guide or whatever, okay? A person, 
they're on point. I feel like, oh, this is you. Somebody's on point right here. They letting you know exactly when to switch something right here and everything. I feel like you just keep winding up on top here financially in some way. Okay, it could be a Virgo that's talking to you or a crazy sleep, a Gemini. They talking to you, letting you know what's up, I feel. All right, or a spirit guide. Get right here, okay? Yeah. See, somebody over here was expecting you to hold on to a bank, I feel. Or they was expecting to hold on to a merge or a tourist. They was expecting to do that, I feel, right here, this one. They was. They was expecting you to do that. I kind of feel like over here, you're a free spirit, maybe. Right? Or you definitely don't do it the way somebody think you is or you used to or something like that. So yeah, eight of ones right here. See, somebody was planning right here to work together with you in one way, but you switched it up on them, I feel. Yeah, I feel like you switched something up right here on somebody here. Right? It could be communication. It could be a vehicle. It could be traveling. It could be a location. Mercury at the top here. It could be any of those things. But I feel like you switched something up on somebody, and now you got them freaking out, I feel. You switched something up on them, I feel, right here. Yeah. They're heartbroken. Mm-hmm. They're going to be heartbroken right here. Heartbroken right there because you're skilled. I'm getting right here. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles is skilled. Yeah. You consistently being skilled with something. Every time they think they know you, you switch it. Every single time I'm getting right here. Every time. Both of these say cardinal and fixed at the top. Mm hmm. Wow. Let me look at it right here. The truth, they can't, they can't, they can't meet you right now. They can't. They haven't had ascension, I feel, for some people right here. Where they're not listening to their intuition or something like that, I feel. Where they don't have this um, wise counsel like you do, whoever that could be. Okay, a spirit guy or somebody, you know. They don't have it, I feel. Yeah, see, page of cups right here, right? Stuff is hopeless. Every time they try to do something or every time they try to figure you out, you switch it. They're heartbroken. Even it could be there's a third party here that's the same sex. That also could be the case, too. Maybe you know that. Could be that. Could be the case here. Two kings right here, right? Maybe I had a three. So it could be a third party, right? That's the same sex. Or maybe somebody here has two men as their lover. It doesn't have to be the same sex. Could be, a, you know, a woman that has two men as a lover, whatever. But right here, somebody here, right, is skilled. They know about it. <laughs> they know about something right here, some type of way. Okay? Somebody here is heartbroken right here. Right? Because you know in your guts, I feel something about something. Here, so like, yeah, this could be a love situation for some people right here. Yeah. And see, somebody over here wants to hold on to you so bad, right? Or hold on to a bank or something like that. Or want you to do something in a traditional way that you don't do, I feel. You know? You don't do it that way. So that's the, just the truth. And that's what it is, I feel, for some people here. Okay? Six of sword right here. Somebody knows right here that you're going to travel or you're going to change some bank or something like that. It's like, you know, it's no telling when you do it. You know, it's just no telling when you would do it. But at some, any moment, it could be, you could change it, I feel, for some people right here. Hmm? They know it's time to move on some way right here. They can't figure you out, I feel. You're in torture right here and they're going to be heartbroken, I feel. They are. They're really going to be heartbroken, I feel. Okay. For some for some people here, they never met anybody like you that was intuitive. They really they really did not. Okay, or maybe they just don't believe in it or whatever. Something like that. Okay, what else is going on here? And maybe somebody here thought they could keep a secret. They was juggling the same sex or two different sex, whatever. Okay, okay, four cups right here. Something's a missed opportunity because they can't figure you out. You're right, intellectual. But they don't listen to their intuition or something like that. It's just some get right here. All right. It even could be somebody's plans right here was to attack somebody here in some way. And you knew that and you switched something. Could be the case. Or could be the case here. But I just see that you being definitely 
um, ahead of them. I feel like two steps ahead of them. Yeah, I'm having two step activation, something like that. Ten of Pentacles right here. Ten of Cups. Hanging man. Ace of Cups reverse. You have self love. Something they doing here. It doesn't matter what they do. You could be two steps ahead of them, and you're gonna always switch something up. I feel. <laughs> They're stuck. You have self love. It's not gonna work here. So it's not gonna work. I feel right here. Okay. Yeah. Somebody wants this firm foundation right here with you. They want to be happy and at peace with you. All right. But it's like you have self love about something right here. Okay. Or you're intuitive. I feel. You know, if something here is not right, it's not right. You know it. Somebody knows it. Okay. You know, yeah, five of cups, they regret about you. They definitely could be regret about you. They could have hope right here for you, I feel. Right, or you're that wish fulfillment or something like that. Well, they was definitely hoping right here. I'm getting right here with these two. To heal something here after a tower moment. After a revelation or understanding about something right here. But I'm getting like, your guides is here. They don't stray you wrong. Once something was realized, it was realized, I feel, right here. Somebody's in regret. A bit of that could be a, 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 um, an Aries or a, a Aquarius, okay. Hmm. They have fear right here because you're not talking to them for some people here. But these two, you know, they have fear for real, you know. I'm getting lit. They could be hiding from you for some people here because they know you can. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, yeah, that's what I have here. I'm going to end it right there. Thank you so much. I say you all peace, blessings, love, and light, and we'll get back together again soon. Now, I'm going to stay to all of you.